Welcome to Bow Masterclass Part 5, Predictive Targeting. Now there are two major forms of targeting in my opinion. One is predictive, the other is lead tracking, which we'll talk about in the next video. But my favorite method of targeting is predictive targeting. And the reason predictive targeting works so well is because this is a VR game, it is digitally based, and it is very, very predictable. Once you play it enough times, you will recognize the vector paths and the pixel paths of your targets, and you'll know when they change. So what is predictive targeting? Well, you can use it in real life as well. And here's a perfect example of a tennis ball target. Now the reason predictive targeting works here is because the path of the tennis ball is, again, highly predictable. And in our game, everything is predictable again because it's digital. So when I'm targeting, I'm actually looking at the vector line of the target, picking the pixel area where I know it's going to arrive, and I'm shooting at that arrow in my mind in that pixel area. So again, you can see the vector line where it's tracking. So I can actually predict with pretty much 100% certainty where that target will lie. And if you think in terms of the target of being a block of pixels that is arriving at a point of line under a vector path, you will find your accuracy greatly improves. Now, of course, the more you play this game, the more you'll recognize these vector paths and which ones work when they do. This also works in the main game. So try and think of it as predictive targeting. Follow the vector line, hit a pixel area, and watch your scores improve.